What's going on you guys? Eric here with driverlineup.com, world's okay a steering wheel holder. Checking in as your host on a pre-recorded video. I'm actually making as many as I can at home. I'm sorry for the echo, but I, I my my home studio is a work in progress. I've it's going to take a lot of work. There's a lot of echo in here. It is what it is. Anyway, um, I am really excited to make this video, you guys. It has been a long time coming. Um, I've talked about this on the channel here and there, and um, just haven't been really ready to come out and officially say it. Uh, we just had a lot of things to work through and uh, wanted to make sure that we did our due diligence. Uh, I said it before, you, you got to look before you leap, especially when you are taking a leap of this magnitude. <laughs> and I'm talking about building a fleet of trucks, uh, pulling freight for Prime Inc. under Prime Inc.'s umbrella. And uh, I've wanted to do this for a year and uh, it, there hasn't really been a day that's gone by where certain aspects or variables don't cross my mind or none of those 600 mile drives where it's there's not at least a little bit of time during that drive where i'm not thinking about it and uh it is now official you guys we have ordered our second truck um which is like i said it's a it's a it's a big leap uh so we have so this video is being produced i'm filming right now on i believe the 12th or 13th not really exactly sure what today's date is of may 2021 our first truck uh, that we're doing a lease purchase on is a peterbilt 579 2022 with the new body style ultra loft uh, it arrives on july 7th of this year 2021 our second truck that we just ordered paid to deposit it on a lot of money uh, got some extras for it is going to be a 2022 freightliner cascadia that arrives October, September-ish um, of 2021. So we will have two trucks running in by the end of 2021. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's both terrifying and exhilarating at the same time. Uh, <clears throat> it's just, it's, it's amazing to sit here and be able to, to, to know that it's done. Uh, that, that we actually are going to be running two trucks. So uh, this will be kind of the first video of getting into the guts of what we plan to do. Now there's so much, there's going to be many, many more videos about this, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys kind of the first look at what we're doing, what our first step is <clears throat> now that we've taken it to get this fleet started. And that is of course, purchasing or ordering the purchase of our second truck. So there's a couple questions I've seen out there um, that I wanna try and address as best as I can if I can remember them all. I don't have them in front of me. Uh, the first one that I see so much when I talk about this second truck is why a Freightliner? Um, why, you're a Peterbilt guy. Why are you ordering a Freightliner? Um, and the truth is, yes, I love my Peterbilt. I'm diehard Peterbilt and that's because I will probably always have uh, my truck running as a team operation. And right now, of course, I drive with Jenna um, and we, we plan to be driving as a team truck for the foreseeable future. Um, if and when she decides to do something different, maybe something in Springfield, um, then I would still continue to run a team truck. I would still continue to train or I would start training again because I'm passionate about that and I wanna pay it forward and help others uh, become professional drivers too. And with that being the case, guys, I just can't sleep in a Freightliner Cascadia when it's moving, that's the truth. That really is the key reason why I have a Peterbilt. It's that simple. Um, I, they just run so much smoother and I've had both. I had a brand new Freightliner Cascadia when I first upgraded at Prime and uh, when we, switched to Peterbilt, it was night and day for us. It's just a much smoother ride. Um, but what I'll say about Freightliner Cascadia, I didn't hate the truck. I actually really liked the truck. 
and it had a lot of advantages. It had more space. I do like the way the, the Peterbilt feels inside the truck, but the Freightliner did have more storage space, uh, more usable space, it felt like. And I just felt like it was a great work truck, to be honest with you. It, it was, if you want a good truck that's gonna be economical for you, great on fuel economy, um, pretty good on reliability, easy to get worked on when things go wrong, a Freightliner Cascadia is really where it's at. Um, and that's why I need that second truck to be as economically viable as possible uh, because it's not a truck that I'm going to be running. I'm going to have a driver who I already have. We've already <clears throat> gone through this whole vetting process. We've met with this individual uh, multiple times. We've talked to his wife. Uh, we're in constant communication. We, we know him now. And uh, he's going to be, I think, just a great partner in this venture. And uh, want the, we want the truck to be as economically viable um, as possible for both him and for us as the truck owner. And uh, so that's why we went with the Freightliner Cascadia for our second truck. So hopefully that clears that up on because you guys, are, I've seen this time and time again. Why are you ordering a Freightliner Cascadia? You're a Peterbilt guy. Well. If I was solo and if I never intended a team, I would probably have a Freightliner Cascadia too. That's the truth. So yeah, we have ordered our second truck. It is a Freightliner Cascadia 2022. Um, and that's the beginning of our fleet. Uh, now the next question is, is it a good decision? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think it's a good decision. Um, I've talked to probably five different individuals who uh, have multiple trucks. And I think I've grasped the ups and downs, the pros and cons as best as I possibly can. Um, do I want to sit here and pretend like I know what I'm doing and like it's not gonna be a challenge and not gonna be a, a steep climb? Of course not. Um, it's gonna be a learning experience. There's gonna be mistakes made. Hopefully there's gonna be some successes made. Um, but you know, it was just time for it. I'm sorry. You're going to hear a lawnmower out there. This mic picks up everything earlier today. I was pick, uh, doing an interview with a uh, long haul gypsy and her truck was parked out front and it was picking up the hum of her APU. <laughs> so occasionally you'll hear Remy across the hall. She's mad that she can't be in here with me and you'll probably hear a lawnmower out there. But anyway, I digress. Um, it's not, this is not something that I think should be jumped into by most. Um, again, I, like I've said, I've been working on this for a year. I've been talking to as many people as possible for a year. I've been talking to my fleet manager. I've talked to um, Junior Honduras has given me a lot of, a lot of things to ponder. Um, I don't want to name any of the others, but I've, you know, I've had many, many in-depth conversations with individuals who have fleets of anywhere from two to 20 trucks. Um, to try and ascertain and understand what this is going to be like. And, you know, it's a, it basically puts me in a situation where I've got roughly a $10,000 per month obligation. Think about that, you guys, $10,000 per month for two trucks. Uh, and that would be pretty much my fixed cost, you know, the payment, APU, permits, insurance, all that good stuff. Um, you're looking at 10,000 plus per month, uh, running two trucks. And, um, so that's quite an obligation. It's quite a responsibility. It means you really don't have any room for error. Um, and you've really got to stay on top of it <clears throat> and you just got to really be paying attention to things. And, um, so it's, it's something that I think is going to be very difficult. Uh, also, if you think that just by having a second truck, all of a sudden you're going to be making all this money, that is not true. I have not heard that in any of the conversations that I've had. Now, when the truck is paid off, of course, it's going to be very profitable. Um, but I don't want any of you th to think that I'm under the illusion that this second truck is going to make for me what my first truck, what the truck that Jen and I run makes for us, which is very, very lucrative for us. I don't expect that from a second truck at all. In fact, I'll be honest with you. 
I will be completely happy if the truck payment is made. That's my objective is to get the truck paid for. Anything beyond that is a bonus. Um, and that's kind of the, the approach that we're taking with it. So now as far as uh, <clears throat> who the driver is, I'll be introducing you to him soon. He is going to get on YouTube, I believe. He has a channel that he's setting up. Um, really excited about it. So I'll be uh, interviewing him probably, talking about his channel. I hope that he, I'm not going to be one that doesn't want anyone YouTubing from that truck or talking about the truck. If he wants to, good for him. Go for it. Um, and he can talk about what it's like. Uh, he can talk about anything he wants to. I'm not going to tell you what his pay will be. That's his business in between he and I and Prime. Uh, but he will be a company driver, technically a company driver for Prime. Uh, but his, but of course, Prime will pass all of his costs on to me, um, including his his health subsidies and all that all that good stuff. All the things that I currently pay for for Jenna. Um, but he. Be running my truck, so it's um, it's gonna be a lot of fun, you guys. Um, as far as the I'm trying to make sure that I'm, I, there's so many questions, so many more questions that you guys have asked uh, that I'm gonna get into in short order in in future videos. Um, as far as the size of the fleet that we're looking to run. Don't know. Uh, I would like to ideally have five trucks by 2025 is my objective, which is a pretty aggressive goal, you guys. I mean, that's that's adding. So I'd had two trucks this year and I'd add one per year for the next three years. Uh, it's a lofty goal. It's I mean, if you think of just just in terms of deposits now, I don't have a $14,000 deposit because I've been leasing for several years. That comes down $1,000 per year with a minimum of $8,000. So my deposit will actually go down each year. Um, I also put extras on these trucks. Of course, my Peterbilt has quite a few extras. Freightliners, I'm doing things like, you know, some headlight upgrades, black grill. It's got to have a black grill. Um, I think I did a seat upgrade for the driver's seat in the Freightliner uh, and a few more things. Um, wasn't nothing crazy, but I'll also be putting a microwave, refrigerator, all that good stuff in there so that uh, the driver is as comfortable as possible and uh, just making sure it's well stocked with all the extras that he's going to need. Oil, you know, load locks, extra umbilical for the service lines all that good stuff. So, but you got to think that you have to do that for every single truck. It's not just, you know, taking on another payment. It's taking on a, a, uh, a deposit of more than $10,000, all the extras that you want for the truck, as well as making sure that the truck is constantly supplied and equipped to be able to run. That's on you as the truck owner or the truck purchaser. So it's, um, it's a lot to, it's a lot of responsibility to accept, you know, um, but I'm, we're definitely excited. I, you know, it, it took us, so took us a while to get to this point, but we're definitely excited about it and, um, looking forward to it. We're looking forward to building this. And I know I've, I know I've had some, I've talked in videos in the past about having hesitations because of uncertainties be it political uncertainties, economic uncertainties, um, you know, but the truth is at the end of the day, we can't pause our lives um, because of those uncertainties. Uh, you know, I'm 41 years old and at this point, like I need to make some aggressive moves to make sure that I'm not driving a truck 15 or 20 years from now. And um, if there are hurdles that are created, if there are roadblocks that are created, then then we're going to do what we can do to get through it. You know, that's, that's the American spirit. I think, um, there's never been a time in our nation's history where we didn't have trials and tribulations that we had to work through, but it's in our nature, um, as Americans to plow ahead and, uh, hit those, hit those challenges, you know, right square between the eyes. And that's what we're going to do. So, uh, we just, we were just ready to we were just ready to move forward on it, you guys. 
So that is something we're gonna talk about pretty extensively here on the channel. Uh, we'll talk about the steps that we take throughout the process. We'll talk about uh, things that work, things that don't work, things that really hurt, and things that feel great about building a fleet with Prime Inc. And I really hope that you guys are gonna enjoy that. Uh, details on that to follow. But uh, yeah, I just wanna let you guys know it is, it is official. We have ordered our second truck lease purchase. So that'll put two trucks under the driver lineup fleet uh, in 2021. I did go and spend some time with uh, Stripes and Stuff, uh, Stripes and Stuff in Springfield designing the uh, graphics that'll be going on the truck for on the Peterbilt. And those graphics will be the same graphics that are going on the Freightliner. Now, if it works out with my second driver um, and he's comfortable and wants to do this a little bit longer, I'd be open to letting him putting some graphics on the truck as well. Uh, but there will be some, some things that are very similar to, to make sure that all the trucks look like they're part of the same fleet. They're all gonna be the same color, very similar. My Peterbilt is gunmetal gray. The Freightliner Cascadias will be pepper gray and they're pretty close in color. So they're gonna look uh, pretty similar and all look as, as part of a fleet. So I'm excited guys, really excited. But like I said, also scared. <laughs> I would be dishonest if I told you that there weren't some jitters, uh, but you know, you that's what happens when you take risk. And I believe that risk are required to reap reward. Um, so that is that is what we're going towards. Another thing alongside that that I look forward to talking to you about in the coming months is that I'm actually rolling out a five year to freedom plan, uh, which is going to document for you guys our five year journey to not driving a truck full time. And I know that some out there say, hey, if you say that you know you're gonna try to reach a point where you're not driving a truck full time, you're not very wise. Look, I've got other things going on other than a truck and are very related to this that I that I'm I want to walk you guys through too. And I'm hoping that those of you who may be interested in coming up with something like this, your own version could be a five year plan to move to a local job, five year plan to build a business while you're driving a truck, um, 10 year plan, whatever it is. I really hope that you can take something from it or even give me ideas on uh, how to create a scenario where you can build sort of a, you know, almost, I want to say retirement, I'm only 41 years old, but almost a plan to lay the framework for retirement um, through trucking. And that's exactly what we're looking to do. So anyway, guys, there it is for you. We have ordered the Freightliner Cascadia, our second truck. It'll be here this fall. Our brand new 2022 Peterbilt 579 will be here in July, uh, the week of Independence Day. How, uh, how cool is that? And uh, we'll have more updates on that soon. So be safe, make good decisions, and as always, drive to thrive. Talk to you guys soon.